big revelations in that last video. First of all, I realized the AI is generating way more faith than I am, specifically England, so she's technically winning the religious game, as well as I have no idea where England or Germany is, I barely know what Greece looks like, I probably have to settle a coastal city. So pretty much, as America, we need Hawaii. We need a Hawaiian island city or something like that. Now, I've been kind of, you know, viewing over the coast looking for a few nice spots. There's definitely a few spots that have, you know, some nice uh, amenities. As well as the good thing about settling coastal, and if we get a lot of amenities under the belts of these cities, is more than likely a lot of the other civs won't have them, which means the trade will be a lot easier. Where is this? This is just north of Geneva, which I have the suzerain bonus with. And actually, this is very safe. That's the key. So this harbor city would probably be far away from our empire. So it needs to be in a safe location. I can't guarantee I'm going to continue to be cool with Geneva. It's nice that they're granting me science, but uh, I can't guarantee I'm going to stay cool with these guys. So because I'm so focused on the, on the religious city states. But settling like in this little corner might not be a bad idea. Uh, figuring out what the hell's going on over here is actually a very good idea because there's no sieves over here. At least not to my knowledge. So let's let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's send like one of these scouts back home, and hopefully they get there fast. Unfortunately, that does not. What what are you doing? Get out of here. Um. He, he does that in the middle of things for some reason. Frederick likes to, likes to just talk to me sometimes, and that's sweet of him. I appreciate the gesture, but uh, yeah, I love Kyoto. This is a very cool city. Again, with these like all these rivers and stuff, it just. Such an awesome city. Okay, so you do have a holy site. Let's definitely get up a temple. I would like a library, but let's get up a temple. Uh, we also got a great scientist that's going to give us Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton has came and came to uh, you know. Let's let's build in St. Louis to improve their holy site. Or you have to be put inside of a campus district, but uh, apparently you give us some faith bonus. Oh no 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 no! What am I what am I smoking? I'm sorry. They, they're giving us a free like library or university or something like that. Something. But let's let's get St. Louis off the ground a little bit faster. Okay. So uh, this apostle, I might kind of actually sit this guy down for a little bit and have him just sit inside of New York and not let any more religions spread across the Pangaea map. You know, this is where the divide between Islam and Catholicism. What is it? What are they? Buddhism, which England has in the east, and. Uh, and hopefully the crack stays in the west, but even though there is, there is an Islamic city now. All right, let's go this way. Okay, I was kind of worried that there was going to be a barbarian there. Kind of freaked me out. So, looking at the religious map mode, I don't understand why it doesn't give me a better, a more clear notification of like, hey, who's religious? Six crack citizens. Okay, good. We've got six crack citizens. That's not a majority of the city. But it, so if I spread it one more time, Kyoto will be under the crack. We'll probably just do that since he has got one more spread. Um, okay, so interesting. England wants to send over a delegation. I will accept this for now. I don't know where you're at. <laughs> Let's send that out and kind of figure out what's going on over here. Interesting. I don't. You don't normally build see city states building uh, encampments, but that is a militaristic city state, so I guess it makes some sense. Okay, so let's People upgrade you. Who so converted that over? Okay, gain three extra spreads when moving adjacent to a natural wonder. Perfect. So this is a promotion that a lot of the nat a lot of the religious um, units get, and because we settled pretty much a natural wonder within our borders, this is going to be amazing. If we keep getting pilgrimage, the pil the pil pilgrimage promotion, that is amazing. I love that so much. Gunpowder, that will definitely be nice. Gunpowder now requires a uh, a resource though, this niter or whatever. So let's go after that. It's only gonna take five turns. And we'll get ourselves better units, and let's spread this one last time. Converting that over. That way, at least we have a majority of our. Actually, we don't. It's still three of. Oh yeah, three or five. We haven't settled the sixth city yet. Don't know what I was smoking there. You need more housing. Well, hopefully we do that. But I cannot guarantee anything at the moment. No guarantees. Luckily, Tamiris has kind of screwed herself. She's been doing that all game. She's settled, settling in the tundra. 
So she's really growing a lot slower, and uh, and I'm imagining that's got to be affecting her her science output. Maybe not so much her culture. Although she could just put all her districts in the tundra, and then farm the northern lands. It's definitely a possibility. One extra spread. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, let's make sure that we give you, put you next to the natural wonder. Do I have to be adjacent to it? And can I pass by it? That's the next question. Also, where's my traders? Finish up, traders. Okay, so here you go. Instantly builds a university and a library in this district. Um, hold on. You didn't have that before, right? You did not. Perfect. Okay, that's beautiful. Very nice. Astronomy, considerably. Nice. Okay, so that's really good. That's very nice that we got that guy up at the, at the time that we did. So I'm feeling good science-wise. I mean, that could be a backup backup victory, but science victories are way harder than before. Way harder than before. So if I spread religion, these apostles act as kind of inquisitors, right? I thought they did. Let's just experiment with this. It's not a big deal. Yeah, so they do somewhat act as inquisitors, taking out the, the second Islamic citizen. Or converting over. Okay, so I should probably sit you there. You don't get the promotion yet, right? Oh, yeah. We just have to pass by it. Six spreads. That is amazing. That is really amazing. That's kind of a reoccurring uh, promotion for these units, for these specific religious units. So that's that's awesome. Spain, we have some major problems. When do I get my Casas Bellies? I'm going to have to take down Spain because they're going to be so annoying. I wonder if I can get Rome to go to war with Spain. Or we, maybe we could do a joint war or something. Okay, amenity-wise, you're still fine. Housing, you're, you're lower. It's getting lower, but let's go with the shrine first, and then maybe we'll go with the aqueduct. There's my mosque. Okay. Let's build the mosque. This is going to be bad if I have to abandon my, my religion. Ooh, another one. And another one. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so Scythia is going to settle another city. It's probably going to be smack dab in the middle of our empire. We kind of have to let it happen. Again, it's going to be in the middle of the desert, probably. Well, she could go here. Grab the copper, the stone, the cotton. Eh, this is not a bad spot either. I'm going to laugh so hard if she settles in the tundra. Either I'm missing something or or maybe the AI is just a little bit wonky here. This specific AI and this specific example. Ooh, there's some barbarians down south I can see. So we need to go fight these. That's why I'm saying maybe we just keep this apostle here, uh, fighting anybody that tries to come. Because they can't move through the city-states, I don't think. We can, but I don't think they have that ability. Next turn. Yeah, no, hold on. So I need to kind of move this way and stop them. Spain doesn't even... Like, why aren't you converting Rome, Spain? Spain. I guess that might be their plan. Suzerain status lost with uh, Geneva. Okay, so I knew that was going to happen. Also, I don't know why I'm purchasing these religious units inside of Washington a little bit further away. I need to definitely not do that. So I'm pretty sure we should be killing missionaries way easier. We did not. We did not completely kill it. I can't purchase anything there, but we can here let's uh well, I can purchase the mosque but you're building it anyways so 160 sounds like a good plan to me and uh, we need to just start spamming these dudes out so here we go thank you st. Louis um, okay so like I said we need to build an aqueduct now there goes all my production pretty much but I, I plan for the industrial zone anyways so that's good all right, so where where are you first of all? Oh, okay, so you're in St. Louis. We want to bring you to Washington. I've got to transfer it over. Okay, so we want to bring you to Washington. So Washington has a straight B line to New Orleans. Actually, you know what? We'll go to New York instead. It should pass by New Orleans. It should pass by New Orleans, I think. So purchasing a settler, I think, is going to be a little bit too expensive at this point. I'm starting to get a little bit worried. We should maybe move some military units down or start building more military units. Like, there's no point in having this this crossbowman inside of Kyoto. 
because Scythia is is being dangerous right now. And if Scythia goes to war with us, that is going to make things tough. Focusing on all the other things we have to do. Um, I guess we'll rush that in three turns. I mean, that's good. We look like we're doing really good science-wise. Religious spread eliminates other religions in the target city. Perfect. Um, yeah, we're not going to war, so we don't need that guy to act as a medic. And you need to go to New York. That is going to be an excellent trade route. Okay, cool. Hmm. Yeah, we're not able to fight these guys too well, are we? So they're going to spread us... Well, they might not be able to get it completely done. They are missionaries. But that just means they have like less spreads, I think, right? I thought they had... I, I don't know why we're not just destroying these units. But I need to I need to do a little bit of both. I can't just be doing all of one because the missionaries will cost will be much cheaper and there'll be like just raw raw stuff for us. Let's uh let's let's keep that in mind and go with these guys now. Because I you know the price of of the units are going to continue to increase, so I've got to do a little bit of both. So it's not like super expensive. Also, St. Louis can now purchase faith units. I need to keep that in mind, too. You're still falling the crack, right? Yeah, so, I mean, Tamaris is pretty much ours. As long as she doesn't go to war with us, we're going to be cool. Okay, so one is dead because you used up all your spreads. I've got, I've got you coming over here. We are, Spain doesn't know what's about to hit them. Spain does not know what's about to hit them. Okay, good. So it doesn't need to be placed inside of the holy site if we. So I could always purchase like a whole bunch of these guys. I could just do all of them in Kyoto, pretty much. How? Wait a second. Where did Buddhism come from? Who? They might have the belief that spreads it like further, right? Oh boy. I don't think so. I don't like that. So I'm going to do maybe one of both. We'll do one here too. I'd like to just get rid of all my faith. Oh, I already, I already don't have any more faith to use. Okay, so religious war. Also, I should be getting my cast spell eyes from my civic tree. I need to get up my more culture because I feel like I, I'm doing great in the tech tree, not so much in the civic tree, which I, I've said multiple times. I find way more exciting, way more exciting. Yeah, we have to ignore this request because I if I say this, I'm, I'm not planning on moving my units. It's my, it's my city. He, she doesn't realize, the AI doesn't realize it's my own city. So, that's kind of weird. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's increase the housing. Gold from each of your envoys. Yeah, I like that. Oh, do I need, but I do I need money? I think I'd rather just get plus two influence and keep getting, yeah, let's stay this. Let's stay with this. We don't have any theater districts. I have one, actually. But I don't care about the adjacency bonus. Okay, so we have to confirm this. We have to look for probably theocracy for the future of our government. 11 turns. Yeah, see, this is not good. Uh, art museum. Here's Cass's Bell Eyes. So let's go after guilds. We need more theaters. We just desperately need more theaters. Religious spread eliminates, yeah, let's do that. Apostles, yeah. Let's go with that. We could go with a market, but I don't care. Don't mind. Oh, are we still building that wonder? Yeah, we've got six more turns. If we build that, that's going to be amazing. It's going to be very nice if we can finish that. You have, like, no amenities. We probably do need to build inside of Kyoto, but there's other things I need to do. Let's build the, uh, we're fine. Uh, we're, no. No. Not right now. Nope, nope, go away. I'm changing my mind. We can go with an encampment. Another encampment probably is a good idea. You know what? No, no, no. We're gonna go with the settler. There we go. Get up that harbor city. And you've stayed is, you've, you've stayed you're not Islam anymore. You're you're still following the crack. And we need to get 
all of the religious buildings, or all the religious guys to New York. And so you have, yeah, so you just get over here to New York. New York's still growing. I haven't even done anything with it. Let's promote it. Religious Reds is uh, triple the strength in cities of other civilizations. There we go. Gotta do this one. That's why I like those units. And then you come this way. Oh, they're not ready for it. I love these these little guys in the robes and everything. It's so cool. Okay, yeah, that took a long time. I didn't. I forgot about that. This scout that I was supposed to send out over here. So he's just gonna kind of go along the coast, and he should be ready to go. Joint wars against Tamiris. No, no. But actually, it might not be. No, oh, no, I can't. I was gonna say, you know what? We might be able to do a joint war against Spain with Rome, and then I go against Tamiris. But it's like, why would I spread myself thin like that? Especially the AI. Rome's not going to do anything to Spain. I don't think. We just got to get rid of the city. Astronomy is much more fun. So I'm going to convert over Rome. They're, they like me anyways. So that shouldn't be too hard. Actually, if we could convert over that Spanish city, then that would be helpful. That would be really helpful. Banking? All right. I guess so. Scientific theory. Research agreements and Oxford University. All right, let's go with that. Let's keep going with the science. Let's do that. How bad are you doing? You're not doing very good. Let's go with the monument because I need more culture. I think my culture sucks. I really think my culture is not doing so well. You're going to come out over here. And this is my most important apostle. We've got to convert over lots of other sieves. Probably all of Rome, I'm thinking, with that one. Okay, good. Okay, so we have at least fish... Which is okay. But anywhere anywhere along this coast would be great. It's going to be a safe city. I mean, it might not be safe from a naval invasion, but I mean from a land invasion. No one should touch it, I don't think. I don't want to settle up here. Unless I find, like, uranium or some sort of, you know, very rare uh, resource. Oh, we actually got gunpowder, and I don't think we got the, the resource required for that. Which kind of sucks. So I've got six spreads from this unit. I cannot let him die. Let's, let's be careful. Maybe I'll sit you here for a second. Because he's got six spreads and he might die. Like, that's going to be a problem. Okay, so we have two envoys. Let's get up here and uh, let's also start pushing for this guy too. Yeah, let's get the missionary out in front. Perfect. Okay, so that sounds good. And then we're going to move up north. We are not going to be able to travel around this city-state. Which kind of sucks. Religious warfare. And then we're going to get that Casus Belli. I'm going to declare my first holy war on Spain. This should be very fun. I am pretty excited about this. Just converting over all of this. If we can eliminate Islam, that would be best case scenario. And actually, now that I think about it, we won't even, if we just take over Spain, we could just take their capital and take their coastal city. That might not be a bad idea, but I think I'm going to need two coastal cities. Two harbors would be best. But anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Something I didn't think about is because I haven't found England, they could totally be secluded. More than likely secluded with Germany because I can't find them either. So if they're kind of secluded by themselves like we were with Tamiris... Maybe she just converted over Germany and she's not really doing as well. I know she's generating a lot of faith, but um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But right now, my biggest enemy is Spain. I like Rome because they like me, and I'm going to continue to spread, and they're going to continue to like me more with the with every city that I, I place down. But we'll have to wait and see. Also, I'm getting very nervous about what uh, Scythia is doing in my south, my southern front. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.